What's up guys, back for another Mental Monday, brought to you as always by Brutus. This week I had a couple questions about injuries. Obviously, uh, the season's getting started, so maybe we're seeing some of these. Um, and I don't know if you guys remember, a while back I talked about the, the theory of the hypocritical athlete, and I think that this falls into that category. And that is obviously there's certain injuries where if you wrestle through them, if you keep trying to push, you're going to make them worse. And so it's takes a smart kid to say, well, you know, in this case, if I, you know, if I do X, Y, and Z, uh, I'm going to only injure some, myself further. And so I need to hold back, right? And a lot of times coaches will push against that and it kind of takes a strong kid to stand up for himself and say, no, this is, this is what I need at this point. I know one, one point in my career, and I was lucky, especially at the, uh, in college, to have coaches that really trusted me, believed in me, and after the Big 12 tournament my senior year, I hurt my ribs really bad in the, in the finals. And I said, I said to Coach Smith, I said, listen, Coach Smith, I can win the Nationals being out of shape, not practicing. I can't win the Nationals if I'm hurt this bad. And he said, okay, do whatever you need to do. And so for the next, uh, you know, whatever it was, 12 days or whatever before the NCAA started, I didn't train at all. I just let myself rest, heal. Uh, I think I ended up being able to bike a little bit. And, and, but that was exactly what I needed. Um, and so he had the faith in me that I was telling him the truth about my injury. Obviously, I'm a senior, so at that point, hopefully, hopefully he had that faith in me. Um, but ha had I kept trying to push through that, I might have been injured so bad that I wouldn't have been able to do that. And so, you know, that, again, that was me knowing myself. And then there's certain times when there's injuries that, you know, they're just going to be there. They're just going to be lingering and nagging, especially now as I get older, I'm finding more of those. And yeah, an active competition is not going to make them any worse. And so, you know, knowing when to say, hey, I can push through this. I can deal with this. This is just pain, but it'll be okay. And then knowing to say, hey, man, this is going to hurt me a lot worse. I'm going to, I need to step back. I need a week. I need two weeks. Especially, you know, if we're in the high school or college season right now, you guys should be saying, well, it's, well, it's December now. I was going to say November. It's December. But my state tournament's not until February. My national tournament's not until March. And so, you know, taking a couple weeks to now take some time off and get healthy is going to be significantly better than trying to take that time off in, you know, January or February and or, right, performing suboptimally because you're hurt the entire year. So but both of those are bad solutions. Um, so, again, kind of hypocritical over there, right? You, you have to know yourself. You have to be smart. You have to be able to uh, tell that to coaches, when they're pushing you, because they, they they're not inside your body, they don't know how much it hurt. Um, and then the other thing I want to talk about is, um, you know, if you're one of those kids who just keeps getting hurt, and there's those there's those people who are injury prone. Maybe it's maybe it's one specific injury. Maybe there's this one thing that keeps happening over and over and over again. Um, and so for me, I'll, I'll tell you guys a story about myself. Is when I was sixteen or fifteen. You know, it was after Fargo, my um, sophomore year in high school. So however old I was, I think maybe 16 at that point. They had just turned 16. Um, and I had a bad, pretty bad neck injury. And the doctor, obviously doctors are, are way more dramatic than necessary. Uh, he said, well, you, you should probably never wrestle again. Okay, all right. Well, that, that, wasn't even a, that wasn't even a suggestion in my mind at that point. And so, but obviously I said, okay, this is something I should probably take pretty seriously. And I, I spent so much time in the next, you know, because obviously I was the end of July, so I didn't, and back then we didn't have any fall competition. You couldn't even compete in the fall if you wanted to. So, you know, I didn't compete until November, so I had a good four months. Um, I spent a lot of that time getting my neck strong. I did so many neck exercises that I figured if I make my neck strong enough, there's a good chance of not getting hurt. And so I spent so much time on my neck. And so obviously, you know, for certain kids, if it's another injury, it could be maybe a flexibility issue. It could be a strength issue. It could be a stability issue. And so take the time uh, to, to get that better. And then I know obviously after my um, junior year of college, the same neck injury reoccurred and, and I kind of had to go through the same process. It took some time off. I just did, spent so much time with the neck strength issue. And now obviously I've been um, competing still for the last, well, that was 2006, the last 12 years, have not had that issue come back again. And I think a lot of it's due to the time I put in the strength of my neck. So we kind of hit a lot of things there. That was all about injuries. That was number one, being hypocritical, knowing when you need to take some time off and not act like a tough guy because it's going to hurt it more. Knowing when to be a tough guy and just deal with whatever it is because it's not going to get worse. And then number three, uh, addressing whatever the persistent issue is in order to make sure that it does not happen again does not happen frequently you know, if it does maybe it's a freak accident but obviously with the combat sports it's wrestling wrestling injuries are part of it right it's going to happen and so you want to make sure that you can 
obviously get injured as little as possible. And if you do get injured, come back as quickly and efficiently as possible. So you're at your best when you need to be your best, which is obviously the end of the season. So that's what I got for you guys today. I know some of you guys are struggling with that. I hope that makes sense to you. I hope uh, you guys can keep sending me questions. I love when you get questions. You can send those to Ash Russell Academy Facebook page and or Rudis, and I will get them and I will answer them. Have a great Monday. See you later.